Hi and welcome to the first installment of finishing every song on my hard drive. In this series I'm going to attempt to finish every abandoned project on my hard drive. I'm really excited about getting started but admittedly I'm also a bit nervous because I can't remember what's in these folders and I'm afraid that there might have been a reason why these were abandoned in the first place. But let's have a look at these folders shall we? Alright here they are, all of my unfinished projects. And we've got how many folders here? We've got 55 unfinished projects. Um, I think we're just going to pick one at random here. So I'm going to ask Google to do this. This should be in focus now. Um, so let's say, uh, hey Google, pick a random number between 1 and 55. Fifty-two! Alright, let's have a look at folder fifty-two. That would be uh, three away from here. Th this would be fifty-five, fifty-four, fifty-three, fifty-two. Where is your heart at? So we've only got one project within this folder. So let me just quickly uh, copy this onto the computer instead. There we go. Now it's time to open up and see what we've got. Alright, we've got three clips in the session view and nothing in arrangement view. Let's have a listen to this. Okay, I do remember this one as I finished the lyrics not that long ago. So I think I'm just going to uh, put up the lyrics as well. Alright, here it is. I actually do have a lot of information about this song. We're in the key of E flat and we've got the chords and we've got all of the lyrics written. I think. Chorus. Yes. Modulation back to E. Oh, we're in the key of E flat minor. But then this is wrong. Just became, if you could just. This is definitely not part of the song. Let's delete that. Yeah, it goes to the chorus, modulates back to E flat minor. Yeah, I do remember this. This is a finished song, just without any uh, production to support it. I, um, this, I t this is typical for me to do this. I often do flow writing to uh, figure out what the song is about. The song could develop towards him staying unsure about whether or not he should confront, that's a good word, her about his feelings. I could also try to elaborate on how he feels, just like him paying attention to the little things. What else could he be doing, which is not extreme or anything, but is closely connected to the daily life. It could be, you know, butterflies, him losing some actual appetite. It could be shivers, it could be thoughts going in circles. Now I'm kind of low on ideas, but maybe some will show up eventually. I think it's hard to it's a hard topic to cover, although normal for these types of songs. Yeah, so I'm just basically just writing down anything without stopping. That's the idea of flow writing. You just you just keep writing, and even if you don't know what to write, you just write. I don't know what to write. I hope some ideas will show up, and eventually, five minutes down the line, you have um, ideas to to write from. But how does the bridge develop the storyline? Maybe it even doesn't. Maybe he just stays confused. <laughs> I enjoy this. And then, look at this. I actually had an idea for, for YouTube content for this one. When your ukulele can't be tuned, but you insist. Which, to me, that, that's a, a title of a shit post. So, um, maybe we'll do that. Or we finish the production. Let's... Let me just listen to the production again. I mean, everything about this production anyway just sucks. I think it's a nice... The, the melody works, which I guess is why I finished 
writing the song in itself, but the beat. Yeah, this sucks. I think I'm, I think I'm just going with the uh, ukulele idea instead. That that's probably my uh, my wise choice. This is uh, definitely a uh, shit post song. What are the lyrics? Coming up. And I invited my family, but I want to know if she wants to join us. I remember this one. So this is the ukulele, which can't be tuned. And fun fact, it's half acoustic, so you can plug it in if you want to. And I think we're going to do that so I can show you why it can't be tuned. Now what I wanted to show you is that if we put a tuner on this one, we quickly tune it. Have a look at the tuner now. So that's pretty much in tune. And then I just place a finger on the first fret here. Then I'm 15 cents off. Depending on how hard I press, the more out of tune it goes. That's insane. Now I'll try to place my finger as softly as possible. That's about as soft as I can place my finger while still getting an actual note. And we're still 10 cents off. And as we get further up the fretboard, it just gets worse and worse. Well, my initial idea was to just pick up a capo and place it on the first fret to uh, to eliminate the use of the nuts up here. This this part is called the nuts um, because that's where the primary tuning issue is. We still have some tunies, tuning issues from the frets, but it's not as bad as the nuts up here. So that's what the capo removes, right? And now, as I'm saying that, I am realizing that I might want to bar these chords anyway. And barring is simply placing an entire finger. So it works the same way as the capo does. And I want that because if I bar the chords... Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> if I bar the chords, then I can mute all of the strings when I play. And then I can get that uh, kind of a, a funkier way of playing. I think I'm going to do that, but uh, should I keep the capo then? That's the question. I think it depends. If um, if it's easier to sing one semitone higher, um, then I'm probably going to do that. I do have one of these. There we go. Hello and welcome. My next song is called where is your heart at? And apparently it starts out with the chorus. At what tempo though? 90, that seems a bit slow doesn't it? Where is your heart at? When you look into my eyes now where is your heart at? Right now as we're side by side Tell me where is your heart at? Well it is kind of a weird song to begin with here So I think that fits the untunable uh, ukulele sound quite well I think I'm going to, to stick with that decision and make this a, a ukulele song A ukulele shitpost song I remember the last time I did a uh, a ukulele post. Mm, I wanna know who you are. Making us dinner play Wonder Wall on my guitar. I guess you could say that post was uh, pretty close to going viral. So let's re let's repeat the success. I'm going to practice this, and then here's the performance. Hit it. Where is your 
heart is When you look into my eyes Now where is your heart is Right now as we side by side Tell me where is your heart is I need to get it clarified Now where is your heart at? Because mine has lit a flame inside I realized when I'm with you I pay attention to little things What I say and how I do what I'm doing Is it clear for you to see? I try to stay cool in front of you But I don't even know what I'm doing Should I keep it on the low? Or bring it up Because I need to know Oh, where is your heart at? When you look into my eyes Now where is your heart at? Right now as we're side by side Tell me where is your heart at? I need to get it clarified Now where is your heart at? Because mine has lit a flame inside I've got my birthday coming up And I've invited my family But I wanna know if she wants to join us Mommy photographs too much And my father makes silly jokes Besides that we're perfectly normal Should I keep it on the low? Or bring it up because I need to know Oh, where is your heart at? When you look into my eyes Now where is your heart at? Right now as we're side by side Tell me where is your heart at? I need to get it clarified So where is your heart at? Because mine has lit a flame inside From head to toe You and I could travel the unknown In Sweden with backpacks or Shanghai Or stay right here I just don't care as long as you are mine Oh, where is your heart at? When you look into my eyes Now where is your heart at? Right now as we're side by side Tell me where is your heart at? I need to get it clarified So where is your heart at? Because mine has lit a flame inside Woo! That's one down. Let's add it to the list. There we go. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.